Are you right now at the verge of giving up on life? Do you battle condemnation and feel inadequate? Is there a part of you that doubts whether God truly loves you? Would you like to better comprehend God's love for you? Life is full of uncertainties, but in God, there is an assurance of a beautiful future. Be inspired as you receive God's word that will stir up faith and confidence in the love that God has for you. Join us today on The Covenant Light. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you and give you praise for yet another opportunity we have, Lord, to receive your word, to be instructed in righteousness, to be taught. Lord, we ask, Lord, help us to understand your holy word today and bring about a transformation in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I, I, I see someone listening to me right now that God want to personally minister to. You are at a crossroad and you are confused. You don't know exactly whether to go right or left. What I'm seeing right now is God is embracing you. I see a hand wrapped around you and saying to you that I will lead you. I will guide you. Just trust me. I have you in the palms of my hands. You are mine and nothing will take you away from me. I love you. I will see you through, say the Lord. I will show you the path that you should go. Just follow my instructions and my leading. Fear not and do not be afraid. For you will see my goodness and you will see my hand and you will become a wonder to people around you. Thank you, Father. Oh, I just feel God loving up on people this morning, just loving up on you. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We receive your love. We receive your love. Thank you, Jesus. We receive your love. Oh, say, come unto me, all ye that are labor and ever learning, so that I will give you rest. God is giving rest. He's embracing you. Hallelujah. He said, I know the very, all the hair on your head are numbered, and none fall without my notice. I have you in the palms of my hands. Hallelujah. Yes, so fear not. Fear not. Fear not. For that which you are afraid of, Palaki and the Gerebroto Shalabaya, will become a testimony. Yes, it will become a testimony. Thank you, Father. Lord, we receive your love. We receive your embrace. We receive your love today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, that's why I just love Jesus. I love him as a father. He loves us so much. And that's why he died. That's why he died. You know the Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He did not die because we were good. He did not die because we were perfect. He died while we were still deep in sin. What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us. That we should be called the sons of God. He loves us. As a father of love. Thank you, Father, for your love. I just feel God saying that to someone. It doesn't matter how your past has been. The mistakes that has been made. God is saying to you today. I will restore to you the years that the canker won and the power ones have eaten because of my love you will yet see the goodness of God you will yet see the mercy of God thank you Father 
in Jesus name amen and amen praise God you know this morning I'll be talking to us about our authority in Christ our authority in Christ Jesus when we believe in Jesus and we receive him into our heart we believed unto something getting born again is not a religious activity in fact getting born again is not just because we want to make heaven praise God thank God for that thank God for that you know but it's beyond that there are other things that come with it apart from our alongside with assurance of heaven while we are here on earth when you receive Jesus into your heart as your Lord and Savior you were given the authority of Jesus when you received him you were empowered with the same authority that Jesus had when he was here on earth praise God so we did not believe in nothing Jesus came and he died the Bible says he went to hell and in hell he triumphed over demons over principalities and over Satan thank you Holy Spirit as I'm ministering I'm, 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 I'm sensing my spirit that the Holy Ghost is ministering to people individually praise God hallelujah so he went to hell and he triumphed over Satan he triumphed over the demons you know that three days in hell was the only time that there was no demon left on earth every demon congregated in hell in their minds to go deal with Jesus to go pounce on him for all he did to them in those three and a half years little did they know hallelujah Oh, that is story. Hallelujah. But different. So the Bible says in Colossians that he, he, made, he made a public show of them, triumphed over them in victory. Demons of coronavirus was also there in hell. Demons responsible for cancer was in hell. Demons responsible for, for the troubles that people were going through, the depression in the society, you know, they were all there and the Bible says Jesus triumphed over every one of them praise God and then he came back he came back and he said to us in the book of Mark chapter 16 look at what he told the disciples when he came back chapter 16 verse 14 Later, he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of earth because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. Now verse 15, very important. Verse 15, very important. And he said to them, Go! into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature go and preach the gospel what is the gospel the gospel simply means good news good news so he came back from hell and did not go straight to heaven because he had to pass this information across to us so he told the disciples he said go all over the earth and preach the good news of what Jesus had done go and that's why we are on TV that's why we are on social medias that is why we are on internet declaring to the world what Jesus has done so go and announce the good news that you need not to go to hell again. He had gone to hell for your sake. He said, go announce that the curse has been taken away. Go declare 
announce the good news that right now I am about going back to heaven and I am leaving you behind to be the me on earth you know Jesus once said as long as I am in the world I am the light of the world meaning the moment he left the scene we stepped in and right now we are the light of the world praise God praise God as he is so are we right now in the world so he said go and announce the good news announce the good news that prosperity has come glory to God divine health is available right now because of what Jesus did joy and peace and allness is available right now praise God go announce that there is no reason to cry anymore there is no reason to weep anymore declare the good news good news too good to be true but yet it is true praise God and one more thing that is said in Matthew chapter 28 I like that Matthew chapter 28 verse um, verse 18 Matthew 28 verse 18 and Jesus came and spoke to them saying all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth all authority that is so important all authority that means it did not leave anyone left to Satan all authority has been given to me both in heaven and on earth praise God remember Philippians chapter 2 the Bible says I went he finished all that he, after he had humbled himself the Bible says hallelujah God now exalted him and gave him a name that is above every name both in heaven on earth and beneath the earth hallelujah so he said all authority has been given to me and right now he said in verse 19 go in this authority go therefore in this authority that is given to me and right now by virtue of your new birth is now yours praise god like hallelujah this way i'm going to we have authority now in christ jesus what is authority authority is exousia authority is is dominion praise god authority is being in charge glory to god no believer is helpless no believer is disadvantaged every believer in christ jesus has authority to change things as authority hallelujah as dominion as everything that is needed to live a good life praise god so he said all authority is given to me go now in this authority hallelujah go in his authority authority over the devil authority over his works hallelujah authority over every work of the enemy as stated in john chapter 10 verse 10 the bible says for the thief cometh not but for to kill to steal and to destroy hallelujah so now he said but i am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly praise god so right now we have authority hallelujah to deal with every walk of the enemy hallelujah with this authority brothers and sisters we are on top of the world with this authority that we have praise god god there is no room for satan there is no room for his work there is no room for depression there is no room for lack there is no room for disease or sickness praise god if you are a believer in christ jesus right now you have everything it takes hallelujah to rule to reign and to be in charge no believer no new creation is empty praise god it's available today with this authority you can command no one of the bible says you will decree a thing here on earth and it will be established unto you in heaven it will be established unto you in heaven you wake up on a particular day and you find out that there is a growth around you there's a growth in you there's a growth on your body 
and the devil begins to lie to you oh go check it that might be cancer oh that might be this that might be that no the first thing that should come to your mind is you have authority in Christ Jesus hallelujah hallelujah I, 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 I remember a few days ago hallelujah that my wife just woke up and found out that there was a growth you know somewhere around a womb region so big and very hard without f- a prayer notice and then fear one of the coming well, immediately I remembered that we have authority in Christ Jesus praise God so we lay hands I agreed with that we lay hands on the growth and we spoke to the growth with the authority we have in Christ Jesus because that is what Jesus would have done praise God and we spoke spoke to it and we commanded it out of this body in the name of Jesus. You cannot stay here. You cannot for the authority has been given. We said it day one. It seems as if nothing changed. Praise God. Day two, we kept saying it because, listen to me, we have it. Praise God. Except the scripture is not telling us the truth. Hallelujah. But let let every man be a liar. Let God be true. Praise God. His word is true. The third day, it was even looking a bit bigger. By the fifth day, day praise god it began to go down and as i speak to you today right now it's completely gone praise god hallelujah a thought was coming that might be cancer a thought was coming that might be this that might be that but no you see listen the bible says he has given us a name that is above every other name that the name of jesus every knee bows glory to god hallelujah do not permit the devil to sneak into your house and take your child. Do not permit the devil to sneak in and bring in the disease on your body. And if you are listening to me right now and you have an ailment in your body, you have a disease in your body, it doesn't matter the name it is called, it doesn't matter what the doctor said, you have the authority to deal with it. You have the authority. You know what Jesus said? He said all authority, not some not some all authority has been given so go in this authority go and deal with the devil and his works with this authority praise god do not be bowed over praise god if there is anything you cannot do right now because of one health issue or the other right now i want you to begin to make up your mind to deal with it place your hand on it and declare that in the name of jesus with the authority i have in christ jesus i rebuke you i cast you out of my body in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise God we are not empty we are not ordinary praise God you know for a while God has been dealing with me on this reality and on this truth hallelujah he says son one day told me he just brought that scripture to my spirit about Psalm 82 he said my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge my people are not destroyed by the devil. They did not say my people are destroyed by the devil. He said my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Why? He said they know not. Neither do they understand. They don't know they have authority. They are not aware that they have it. So my people are running elter skelter. Running for help when they are supposed to be the one helping Hallelujah. He said they do not know. He said go teach my people. Go instill this consciousness in my people about what is available praise god and that's why i'm teaching this hallelujah today believe this truth you have what it takes you have the authority hallelujah to deal with whatever it is hallelujah that is contrary to the word of god in your life praise god hallelujah even if you're on a wheelchair hallelujah i'm telling you with this consciousness with this consciousness you can speak to your legs to receive strength hallelujah the bible says if that same spirit that raised jesus from the dead dwells in you that same spirit will vitalize your mortal bodies there's something in you hallelujah that heals everything praise god whatever it is i want to steal your joy i want to steal your peace your wholeness you've got the authority to deal with it praise the lord jesus christ we have it all authority has been given therefore we are to go today in that authority 
and take charge of our lives. Take charge. Hallelujah. He has given us all things that pertains to life and godliness. That is the good news I'm sharing with us today. That is the good news that Jesus came back to tell the disciples to go share. Go share it all over the earth. Hallelujah. Oh, glory that the victory has been given. That's why we are doing this. Hallelujah. On TV and, and every opportunity we have. Glory to God. Believe it. You've got it and use it. Use your authority over Satan. Use your authority over every works of the enemy. And you will be amazed. Hallelujah. At how glory to God. How glorious your life will be praise god praise god praise god oh boy i love jesus hallelujah we are not ordinary people praise god we are not empty we have it inside we have this treasure in earthen vessels praise god hallelujah and if for adventure let me quickly say this hallelujah if you are here today and you are not yet born again you are not yet, you've not given your heart to Jesus. This is an opportunity for you to receive him into your heart as your Lord and as your Savior. Hallelujah. Just say this very simple prayer with me and I can assure you, hallelujah, that everything, hallelujah, will change. Praise God. Afterwards, we will pray together and I believe God for miracles. I believe God for testimonies. I believe God, hallelujah, for awesome things to happen in the next few minutes. But let's quickly pray for those want to see, receive Jesus into their heart right now say this with me say Lord Jesus I've heard your word and today I believe with all of my heart that you are the son of God that you came and you died for me I ask you today to come into my heart I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior today I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that I am a child of God I am born again. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, if you said that prayer, congratulations. Oh, you've just made the best decision, the most important decision of your life. Congratulations. Right now, I'm going to pray for everyone listening to me this morning or watching. I want to pray for you. And I believe that there will be a miracle. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray this morning for everyone that you've given the privilege and the opportunity to be live and to watch this broadcast today. Right now, I come against every spirit of infirmity in your body in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every walk of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree from the crown of your hair, man, the key allegory, all over through your body, receive the life of God. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that devil, I command that demon to get out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up and begin to do what you couldn't do before in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you right now. Receive allness. Receive peace in the name of Jesus. Receive joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive restoration of lost dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive a fresh testimony. Receive Receive hallelujah your peace back in the name of Jesus Christ. I so decree today you are set free from that thing that is called generational cause. Hallelujah. You have been the delivered from it and right now step into generational blessing in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise God it is done it is so in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I believe someone hallelujah received a miracle today share it with us and we'll be glad hallelujah to rejoice with you about what the Lord has done always remember as a believer you have the same authority that Jesus had when he was here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Have a great day. In Jesus' name, amen. Dada Olumide leads a network of Covenant Life Churches. Connect with him on Instagram at Pastor Mide. 
We would like to thank our friends and partners for making today's broadcast possible. If you enjoyed today's message or would like more information, do visit our website at www.convenantlight.org.